Hi guys, so I just shot my most complimented designer fragrances of 2019 um, and I'm going to follow up and do a most complimented niche fragrances because obviously you guys know I really do love niche fragrances even more than designer. Obviously we're only in June so I will do another um, most complimented at the end of the year in December. Um, so these are just my most complimented so uh, thus far. So let's just jump into it. I have a lot of fragrances here as per usual. Um, so I think there's 13, maybe I think there's 13. So my number 13 is a newer fragrance to my collection, but I wouldn't lie about this because there's no reason for me to lie. I don't really care if you guys go out and buy the fragrances that I talk about. I'm just sharing my experience. This is Mise en Sur Treasure, and I have had a compliment every time I've worn this, so I just want to put that out there. This fragrance is beautiful, and the reason that I think I'm getting complimented is because it is a very, very, very likable fragrance. It's very simple, but yet beautiful. To me, this is almost my perfect fragrance. It's sweet, delicate, soft, powdery orange blossoms it's bright but yet it has a cozy little vanilla aspect to it yeah it is just perfection to me personally some people would find this scent totally boring and uninteresting whatever but for me it is a beautiful beautiful fragrance that i resonate with a lot and i cannot stop wearing it i've already made a dent in this and i haven't even owned it for very long um so yeah mise en sur treasure has gotten me a lot of compliments and i've only owned it for a little while amazing francis kirkshon grand soir i had a sample of this like a huge 10 mil sample and then i got a bottle and when i was wearing through the sample because i wore it all the way to the bottom i got so many compliments from it and i still get so many compliments from this fragrance i think it is definitely one of the best from the house of Maison and francis kirkshon if not the best i also love the barker rouge 540 x straight oud satin mood x straight but to me there's something about grand soir i just think it is uh like a masterpiece this is a beautiful warm rich decadent dense slightly powdery amber scent it's so full it's like just yeah it's just everything that i want in an amber scent this achieved it so i'm really lucky that i own this fragrance and i'm very grateful to have it and i will always continue to purchase grand soir to me this is like my perfect amber fragrance and it gets me so many compliments like ridiculous compliments for me i think this one is definitely for the cooler weather i think it's much too strong for the warmer weather but that's just my opinion Okie dokie, so next up we have one from Marta Mikalev. I've talked about this one a lot. This is Mon Parfum Cristal. So many compliments with this one, it's insane. This is rose, pink pepper, toffee, it's sweet. I feel like it's a mixture of Oud Bouquet from Lancôme with Parfum de Mali Delina. Like it's got a bright uh, pink intense rose, but then it's got the beautiful sweetness that Lancôme's Oud Bouquet has more of a um more of a powdery sweetness it's just absolutely stunning i love this fragrance and you guys really need to check this one out it is fantastic and it has gotten me so many compliments like crazy compliments um so yeah martin Mikalev mon parfum cristal so i totally didn't mean to do this but straight after we have another martin Mikalev. i love this bottle like so much whenever i look at this bottle it just it's just beautiful. This is Ilanian Gold. Now, I think that this may have been in my last year's list as well, but this for me is a huge compliment getter. For me, this one is much more appropriate for the warmer weather. It shines so beautifully in the summer, in the spring. It is just gorgeous. This fragrance, oh yeah, it is one of my favorite fragrances. I haven't worn this one in such a long time because I think it will get quite lost in the cooler weather and obviously I'm in the cool weather now I think that this fragrance would definitely lose its shine it's much more of a spring summer fragrance this is ylang ylang coconut fruitiness there's it's just oh it is just heaven there's a beautiful vanilla note to me there's definitely like this little 
plastic kind of vibe to it but in the best way possible like sometimes that can be off-putting in a fragrance but in this fragrance it is just stunning trust me guys this fragrance is definitely my favorite floral fragrance well actually no one of my favorite floral fragrances ever i think it is gorgeous but like i said i was getting endless compliments on this fragrance in the spring and summer months like endless compliments but right now i haven't worn this one a lot because it would just kind of get lost in the cold so Ylang in gold i probably will take this one with me to the french riviera maybe i'll think about it <laughs> okay so the next fragrance that I have here is a bit of an icon. This is uh, where it all started. This is Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks. As you can see, I love this fragrance. I stopped talking about Goldfield and Banks a while ago because I was getting so much hate for it. I don't really care about hate, but honestly, it just became a little bit annoying and redundant. So I just decided to just wear the fragrances in private and not talk about them. Um, I have one, another one on my desk right now. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this one right now, but as you can see, I wear Goldfield and Banks fragrances. I just never wanted to talk about them because I was really sick of the hate. So that's just a little bit of a rant right now. Um, Pacific Rock Moss is a huge compliment getter for me. I wear it in the summer and spring again. This is not a fall winter fragrance whatsoever. It will get totally lost and it would die in like an hour. So keep this one in the summer and spring wear it to the gym, wear it after a shower. It is just so, so refreshing, girls and guys. I think that this is probably one of the best aquatic fragrances that I have ever tried. Still to this day, this is my favorite aquatic, as you can see. There's something so tropical and sexy and beautiful and fresh about this fragrance. This is a tropical vacay. It's just stunning and I love it a lot. Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks. I'm not sorry, like I'm not sorry about talking about it. It is a huge compliment getter for me and many people that I've spoken to that own this fragrance. Ugh. People that I know personally that own this get compliments on it as well. So it's not just me. Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks. Okay, so the next fragrance that I have here is a beast. This is Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. Um, fantastic vanilla fragrance. This is Tuberose and Vanilla. That is it. It is a bubblegum vanilla tuberose scent. It is loud, it is pungent, it is strong, but it is beautiful and this will definitely get you a compliment. If you like vanilla and if you like tuberose, get this fragrance, just get it. It is stunning and this has gotten me ridiculous compliments. I only use like two sprays when I wear this fragrance and the compliments are insane. Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. I feel like this one could work all year round, definitely. But for me, this is like a spring, a spring scent for sure. <laughs> so Mancera's Velvet Vanilla, definitely check it out. It is a huge compliment getter for me. Next up, you guys already knew there was going to be at least one puff on the Mali in the list. This is Carlisle, my favorite fragrance from the house. This fragrance is just divine. It is creamy smooth, sweet, spicy, a little bit smoky. It's got a bit of a warmth to it. It's patchouli, guyac wood, violet. It is just stunning. It is so hard to explain, but it is beautiful. I feel like this fragrance is literally a masterpiece. I love it so much. If you're a girl and you're watching this video, do not let this packaging steer you away from this fragrance. It does not smell masculine. To me, this is a unisex fragrance. 100% this is a unisex fragrance. It is fantastic. I love it. I actually wore this a few days ago and got two compliments at the shops when I was wearing this fragrance. And yeah, one of the people actually made me write the fragrance down, which I very rarely have that happen to me. They wanted this, they wanted this name. So Parfum de Mali Carlisle, huge compliment getter for me and I love it so much. Definitely my favorite from the house. Ooh, okay, so next up is a personal favorite. This is Greedy Dior from Christian Dior. I get quite a lot of compliments with Greedy Dior, but it's probably because I wear it so much. I'm like forcing people to smell it on me all the time. This one is one that I just for it's my dumb reach fragrance well for me it's not really a dumb reach it's more like my signature scent greedy or is the fragrance that i wear when i don't know what to wear and i'm very confused and sometimes with my collection i get a little bit overwhelmed 
I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but sometimes I get a bit overwhelmed of what to wear and then I just end up pulling for Greedy Dior because it smells fantastic. It smells classy, elegant, feminine, beautiful, and I love wearing it. Greedy Dior is a big compliment getter for me. It's a beautiful, fresh, juicy rose patchouli scent. Uh, it has a fizziness, a bit of a saltiness, a bit of a powderiness. It is just gorgeous and I love this fragrance and it makes me feel so elegant and I really like to feel elegant. So Greedy Dior from Christian Dior, big compliment getter for me. Initio's Rehab. Wow, this fragrance has really stepped up its game. This fragrance gets me crazy, 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 crazy compliments. Text messages, I'm not, that sounded really bad. I'm just saying, I remember I was at an event and I hugged um, two of my friends and obviously went off and did my own thing and they both texted me and said, you smell incredible. Your fragrance is all over us. You smell fantastic. What is that? And I was wearing rehab. I get so many compliments with this fragrance. It is amazing. To me, this has kind of got this beautiful calmness to it. It is so hard to explain, but there's a beautiful calm vibe to this fragrance. It's vanilla. I think it's tobacco, bergamot, uh, lavender. It's slightly aromatic, creamy sandalwood, a little bit sweet, a little bit fresh. It is just beautiful. It's a seamless fragrance. There is no lumps and bumps or you know, nothing too pungent or anything like that. It is just so smooth, so sexy, and a huge, huge compliment getter. I was just talking to a subscriber of mine, Ed, who I um, talked about him in another video. He lends me his fragrances. Anyway, I gave him a decant of Initia Rehab, and he told me that he cannot stop getting compliments. He's embarrassed with how many compliments he's getting from Initio Rehab. And I actually wasn't surprised whatsoever because this fragrance is a huge compliment getter. So Initio Rehab, love it so much. Get on it if you don't know about it. Okay, so my number two is from Zerzhov and this is Lyra. This is my number two. I am like blown away with how many people have complimented me on this fragrance. I get crazy, crazy compliments with this one, running down the street chasing me, not literally, but you know, turning around, coming back, tapping me on the shoulder. What are you wearing? What perfume are you wearing? I get stopped, I get complimented, unsolicited compliments all the time whenever I wear Lyra from Zerzhov. And to me, the reason that I think it is is because it actually smells like food. Like this literally smells like somebody's baking some beautiful, cinnamon spiced caramel vanilla cookies and who wouldn't compliment that who wouldn't think that that smells fantastic so that is the reason i think i'm getting endless compliments with this fragrance but it's just fantastic i have had so many compliments with this one if you don't know it's vanilla caramel it's a beautiful gourmand it's not too sweet in my opinion it's not like a sickly sweet gourmand it is just the right amount just the perfect gourmand for me personally there's a bit of an orangeness there there's a bit of a cinnamon spice it is just amazing so zerzhoff lira yes here we are at number one i'm not even gonna you know you know, drag this on. Yeah, sadly, well, not really sadly, but to me, guys, I have just never received so many compliments from these two fragrances right here. Delina and Delina Exclusive. For me, that is how I like to wear them. I've been doing that since I got the exclusive version. I like to layer them together along with the body cream as well, which I will link down below. These two fragrances, I, um... Yeah, I'm not going to go into it too much because I have obviously spoken about Delina and Delina Exclusive a lot. These are both obviously from Parfum de Mali. The Delina I recommend if you like fresher fragrances and the Exclusive I recommend if you like sweeter, more heavy fragrances. Now, to me, these two fragrances are perfection. They are beautiful and I don't understand the hate towards these fragrances. If you hate these fragrances because of hype or because a lot of people talk about these fragrances, then you are immature and you should get off the internet because it just doesn't make any sense if you want to hate on something because of um, hype or people talking about it a lot. That just doesn't make any sense to me and you're completely losing uh, you're losing the idea of what the fragrance community is about. So. That's just what I'm going to say. Delina and Delina Exclusive are my biggest compliment getters ever. 
literally guys, I have had crazy, crazy compliments, especially from men when I'm wearing Delina and Delina exclusive, like crazy stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my biggest compliment getters, niche compliment getters for 2019 so far. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.